Molot here, and today we're doing a little bit of a time capsule video. Hopped in my DeLorean, went back to 1991, and uh, picked up a box of Upper Deck 91-92 hockey. Um, an extremely overproduced set um, with very little value, but I absolutely got this box for a steal, and I'm interested to see what's inside. Um, let's, first of all, let's check the odds, shall we? Oh, wait, there aren't any. You know why? Because in 91, they didn't do things like jersey cards or inserts. They just made massive sets. This is a low series, and it's 500 cards in the base set. They put a lot of the, what we would consider inserts now, as part of the base sets. This is cool because they do have, um, as you can see here, says find the hall um they're the hockey heroes i think this is the first year maybe the second that they did the hockey heroes line um and that's technically an insert that's like one of the, the inserts that they did and there are 2500 hand signed autographed on card halls um which go for about 200 bucks from what i'm seeing on like ebay and stuff like that and comc um extremely rare because this thing was super overproduced um, we have a all-star ballot, um, contest, so that's cool. Throw that on the floor. All right, there are, I think, 36 packs in this box, um, so it's gonna be a long video. You guys might want to buckle up. Oh, well, here, I'll just get these ready, so. The old, classic, real heavy foil upper deck packaging, and if I remember correctly, the... Cards are going to be completely just unorganized in here. They're going to be um, just kind of randomly thrown into the pack. So, um, but before we start, um, you notice there's a blank spot right here. That's because I picked up this. This is a 2012-13 um, Panini certifi uh, certified certified uh, Jaden Schwartz rookie signature jersey out of uh, 4.99. I was going to buy a box of certified. I could get one for a pretty decent price, but then I thought, you know what? I'm just going to buy the card that I want, and that was the Jaden Schwartz. So I saved myself money and got the card I needed. So anyway, on to the main event. The incredibly hard to open foil packaging of 91, 92 Upper Deck Hockey. It's almost like they knew this stuff was gonna sit on the shelves for almost 30 years, so they wanted to preserve its goodness. So, and here we go, 91, look at that hairdo. Oh, that's nice. Um, 91 was the first year that the Sharks came into the league. Um, if that doesn't make you feel old, I don't know what does, so. Um, and, yep, there's another guy. Back, and you gotta remember, in the 90s, the, uh, oh, there's Eddie Belfour, that's kinda cool. Uh, the mullet was actually a very acceptable and popular haircut. Um, I myself had one. Rick uh, Tocketeer has one. John Casey, he's a former blue as well. Osborne. I won't really um, go card by card through this in the beginning. Just kind of letting you look at it right now. Um, this is a Jamie Leach um uh, star rookie, I guess that's before they had the Young Guns. I think in the high series of this, they actually started doing the, the Young Guns. I think Nick Lin, uh, uh, Nicholas Lindstrom is a Young Guns in there. Um, but he's also in this set as well. So um, that'd be cool if I pull some of those. Again, not much value in these. Um, here's your All-Star, the 92 All-Star game at the Philadelphia Spectrum, if you're interested. Here's everybody. That was, uh, okay, it won't, it won't focus. Come on, focus. Anyway, that's all the players that you could vote for. Um, another interesting thing, it was a 900 number that you had to call. This, uh, back in 91, that was the first year that the internet was made public. It was the World Wide Web. That was the first year it was made public, so not many people had um, web addresses back then. And again, you're not going to see it on here at all. Uh, the only thing it says is just um, the randomly inserted... Uh, um, Brit Hall autograph, and then it's just a base set. They didn't even have a website back then, so it's pretty cool. And again, these foil papers are super thick. 
and I keep hitting the camera, so I'm gonna have to adjust my arm. Um, a lot of sharks, obviously, because that was the first year they were around, did the expansion draft and all that fun stuff. And there's Step on My Toe, Ken Reggett, do remember him, Brent Fedick, Ron Hextall, Gilbert Dion, uh, Tisov, and then they did do these. These would be considered inserts, I guess, but they're base card, um, part of the base set. They're the Canada Cup for that year. A lot of good future stars that came out from this um, uh, Canada Cup uh, set. So, And then again, one of those. I'll have a ton of these little fan ballot things. I'm trying to think of other things that happened in 91. Back in my heyday, I know, uh, I'm also going to throw these over here. Pardon me. That way they're out of the way because it's going to get messy. Um, Seinfeld debuted, I know that. See, but you get like two sharks in every pack here so far. Um, Cliff Ronning, there's a name I know. There's Tony Amate's rookie card, that's kind of cool. I don't know if my eyes are bad today or if this is blurry. So if it's blurry, I apologize, but having some trouble with my eyes this morning. Um, so it's, um, I, I can't see real close to my face, so I can't tell if the camera's all blurry. There's Brett Hall from the Canada Cup for Team USA and Kurt uh, Mueller. I think uh, people may know him. And these things were so massively overproduced, you're gonna get a ton of repeats. Um, another freaking sharks, another Brian Hayward. I think I have three of these already and I've opened four packs. Uh, and the sun is also directly at my back, so there's probably a glare. But I'm just trying to get through this box and see if there's anything fun in here. Uh, Vachlov Fatisov. That's before he joined the, the wings, I think. And then they have these. These are the art, artist painted cards with the team checklists on there. Those are pretty cool. Steve Larmer for Team Canada. That's neat. Moving right along. These packs are so incredibly hard to open. They're super thick foil. You can like hear them crunch. There you go. Oh, I've got a hologram card. I'll show you that here in a second. Bob Senza. There's Denny Savard towards the end of his career. Steve Larmer base card. One of the Sutter brothers, Ronnie. Wendell Clark for the Maple Leaves. Joe Murphy. Yeah, was here in St. Louis for a while and got into a bit of a trouble. A uh, bit of trouble. Pavel Bure, looking good in the short shorts and rollerblades. Uh, interesting. Dale Howard Chuck art card. And then this is the Hart Trophy winner. Um, these are the hologram cards that they put in those. Um, I guess they would consider an insert. I guess they just didn't put the odds on them. But um, this is uh, one of the pretty cool cards that you can get. And the problem with this is since they're all extremely foiled, every single corner and the edges are always bad on them. But I've never seen a card that didn't look terrible coming out of the pack. But that's kind of cool, especially with being a Brett Hall. This is the year right after he scored 86 goals. So... Um, I think it. I think he did 70, 71, and then 86, and then 70 something again the next year. So who knows? I don't remember. Again, ton of sharks. Russ Courtnall. Um, was he the Courtnall? There's Jeff and Russ. I one of them lost a finger in a game for the Blues, blocking a shot. I just remember the story. I know it was one of the Courtnalls, but he blocked a shot, and then he said he felt something rattling around in his glove after he felt a real bad pain. He took his glove off and his finger fell on the ice. True story, look it up. Um, pretty gross, so. Peter Ng, Dale Hunter, I remember him. Um, isn't he the one that cheap-shotted uh, um, uh, Pierre Turgeon? I think so, right after scoring the goal. John Van Breeze, Viesbrook, before he was taken in the expansion draft by... Uh, the Florida Panthers, and again, I apologize, I'm a little under the weather as well. Uh, Pat Murray, Mike Madano, Team USA, Canada Cup card, that's cool. And early of Rob Blake there. I am getting sick of seeing these portraits 
of the San Jose Sharks. And here's another one. Ta-da! Hey, JR, Jeremy Roenick. Troy Gamble. Gaetan Duchesne. Bruce Driver. Sergei Markov. I think he was a first-round draft pick for the Flames. He was supposed to pan out to be something really cool. Let's see. Um, decent numbers. Not too bad. Here's a Trevor Kidd rookie card. That's kind of cool. I like that. Dave Shaw, Adam Oates for the Blues with their checklist. Oh, I was wrong. It wasn't the Cortinals. It was the Cavallinis that lost a finger. It was Gino Cavallini. Thank you, checklist, for reminding me. Uh, Mark Messier on the Canada Cup. So, yeah, it was the Paul or Gino, and I think it was Gino if memory serves. Again, you're talking 20 some years ago, and I can hardly remember what I did yesterday, so. Zittler, again, another beret. Um, I don't think it's his rookie. Yeah, although it says he has no NHL st statistics, I think he had a card in the year prior in 90-91, so I don't think that's his rookie. Tom Barrasso, Jeff Brown, good defenseman for the Blues. Um, Darren Shannon grabbing a balloon, that's fun, because who brings a balloon to a hockey game anymore? Patrick LeBeau, rookie card. Mark Potvin, Brian Leach, and Stevie Iserman. That's kind of a cool card. You'll also notice that the equipment that they wear is very interesting. Um, it's just old school's hockey. Um, you'll see a lot of aluminum sticks, a lot of the Easton aluminum sticks, a lot of Sherwood wooden sticks. There was no such thing as composite back in the day. Um, it just didn't exist. Well, it did, but probably for military purposes only. Okay, Sharks, I get it. It's your first year in the league. Congratulations. Sean Van Allen, Chris Terreri, uh, Michel Mongo. I remember him. He didn't last long in the league or with the Blues. He only played a handful of games. Ron Hoover, Andrew Castles, Markoff again, Chris Taylor, yeah, JR for Team USA. That's cool. Lucky Luke Robitaille. There you go. There's there's a classic picture. And, and rules apparently didn't exist um, in the 80s, or I'm sorry, in the 90s for hockey. Um, classic hook. And that referee back there is just looking the other way. So both got, uh, oh no, he's got a, yeah, yeah, he does. It's a wooden coho and a wooden Sherwood PMP 700 or 7,000. Decent. Again, Sorry for the long video today. It's just, there's a lot of packs, a lot of history. Um, more sharks, more sharks. How about that? Sorry, Russ Cortnall. I thought you lost your finger. You didn't. It was a Cavallini. Peter Ng. Dale Hunter. This pack looks familiar. Oh, Dale Lidster. No. Brent Fedek. Bobby Basson. He was a good guy for the Blues. I remember playing uh, him playing. Um, let's see. What other fun stuff happened in... Ooh, Gretzky. What are those kids wearing? Look at the hats. It's like the Pope watching hockey, but with the maple leaf on their hat. That's fun. That's a cool card. I like that. Oh, he looks very concerned. Um, I think Seinfeld debuted in 91. Another thing to make you feel old. First episode aired in 91. Um, I know at the time the Soviet Union was still called the USSR, whatever that stands for. I was going to look it up and I forgot. But I think they dissolved in, in 91, which really opened the gates for a lot of the Russian players to join the NHL. Um, I think there is cards in this series that have, um, oh, Ron Francis with the Stanley Cup. That's cool. Uh, Penguins went back-to-back -back that year. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying because I get distracted extremely easy. Um, the, uh, yeah, this is from the Stanley Cup, so... Because the Penguins were in against the North, uh, the Minnesota North Stars in 90, 91, and they won. And then this year, in 91, 92, they beat the Chicago Blackhawks. I think they swept them in four games. So, um, But anyway, what I, like I was saying, the um, there are cards in here from Team Russia that have, like, Sergei Fedorov and, and things like that. Um, but with the, the fall of the Soviet Union... It opened the floodgates. They no longer had to defect to come over to the United States. They could just 
leave, honestly. Uh, they weren't really worried about it. But it's an interesting story, especially with Fedorov. I think he was one of the defectors. Um, I could be making all of this up. I don't know. So don't trust me. I'm uneducated, and I rely on the Internet for all of my information. Um, Wayne Gretzky, Art Ross Trophy hologram. That's cool. like that. Uh, Vasky, Patrick Poulon, Benoit Hogue, Giant Checklist, Halfway of the Sit, Francis Nolan, Breeze Y, I remember him, Stu Grimson. Is there is there a card of Stu Grimson that doesn't have an official holding him back from something? Oh, right there. But he looks like he's about to get into some trouble, so. There's T. Mussolini for uh, Finland in the uh, Canada Cup, or as my old co-worker once said, Lee Mussolini, which is completely wrong. He is not Lee Mussolini. He is Timu Solani. Uh, Pavel Bahrain is rollerblades again. Another San Jose Shark. Mike Vernon. It's a cool card. Staring his knob. Okay. Brad Shaw. Wayne Presley. I remember him for the Blackhawks. Brian Trotche again. And again, because these cards are... There's so many in the set. You would think you wouldn't get a ton of repeats, but you do. Brian Leach. That's cool. I have not hit one of those... Um, find the hall hockey heroes yet but Jeff Hackett have I got like nine of these already JR again Gamble get on Duchesne again Claude Lemieux Michelle Goulet everybody knows him Trevor Kidd again ah there's Mats Sundin for uh, Sweden in the Canada Cup. That's cool. Daniel Berthwoom. Berth, Berth White. I don't know. I don't know why I try sometimes. Stu Barnes. The mandatory one shark per pack. And there's Vernon again. Sleeve, Eaton's Beesbrook. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of the same cards again, which is weird. Joseph Branick. For the, oh, yeah, here's funny. For Czechoslovakia, which no longer exists, the country of Czechoslovakia, they split into the Czech Republic and then Slovakia. I don't remember exactly when, but piece of fun history for you. Um, we're literally only about halfway through, so this may be a giant long video. I apologize. I might have to pick it up here. Oh, there's Terry Yake, or as we called him here in St. Louis, Terry Yaki. Stefan Fisse. Mike Richter for Canada Cup. Andy Moog. Oh, man. Beret again. Standard Sharks card. Eddie Belfort again. John Casey. Claude Lemieux. I think we've seen these guys. There's Teriyaki again. Jeez, come on, upper deck. Especially with the way that you sort these cards. I don't know how they did that. Oh, Ziggy Palfi. Again for Czechoslovakia, the country that no longer exists. There's no rhyme or reason to how they put these cards in a the pack. Their sorter must just been like, eh, you know what, whatever. Ooh, interesting. Headlocked by a goalie. It's never a good thing. Okay, Whitmore, I remember him. Mike Crucial Niski. I remember the name. I don't know if I remember him. Dale Howardchuck. Team Canada. That's a cool card. I like that. Ah, oh, the White House visit card. Mario Lemieux and George Herbert Walker Bush. Looking good. 
Tyler Wright, rookie. Tim Shovelday, I remember this one. He and uh, Curtis Joseph got into a fight not too late after that. I think, I think it was 92, 93, I don't know. Joe Mullen, it was a great fight. I was just, I remember it because I was at the game. That's back when the the Red Wings were in the, uh, well, I think it was the Campbell's, con I, God, I can't remember what the conference was that the Blues were in. Um, but they were in the same division. They weren't, it wasn't East-West back then. It was Cam Campbell's in sight and um, stuff like that. So, um, Rookie checklist of all the young guns, um, or the, the star rookies, rather. So you got uh, Doug Waite, Tony Amante, and Steve Rice. One of those things is not like the other. You pick. Is that Darian, or no, Dave Gardner. That's a cool card for the Minnesota North Stars. All right. We're already past the 20 minute mark. I don't even know if YouTube will let me upload a file this big. So let's just hurry up and keep going. I'm not gonna point anything out until it's fun. My stack is getting very high here. I may have to change it. Oh, here we go. Here's the Hockey Heroes. This is one of the ones I was looking for. Um, 40 goal plateau for Brett Hall. This is one of the inserts that they had. Um, just tells you a little bit about his um, season. Um, it was great that uh, Calgary, Calgary, if you will, just essentially gave him to the Blues. Um, they even said when they traded him, we know we're getting rid of a potential... 40-plus goal scorer. Little did they know that uh, he'd go on to do what he did here in St. Louis, aside from win a cup. But on the plus side, oh, there's Yager from uh, Czechoslovakia. Again, that's cool. He was still playing back in the 90s. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, Calgary Flames. Um, they went on to win the Stanley Cup the following year, 92-93, uh, thanks in part to the fact that... Um, they traded Brett Hall to the Blues for, actually, um, I don't remember who they traded, but Rick Wamsley and, and uh, somebody else, um, more defensive-minded players. Um, the coach of the Flames at the time did not think Brett Hall fit into their defensive-minded scheme, which he didn't because if you ever watch early videos of Brett Hall, he didn't even know what a back check was. Um, he would float at the blue line and then casually make his way down the ice into the scoring zone where he would circle around for hours until someone passed him the puck. And for whatever reason, anytime he shot it, it went in the net. So that's an awesome looking uh, Belfour card, the checklist for the team. But for whatever reason, it, uh, it seemed to work for Brett Hall. And um, I remember hearing an interview once with Brett Hall, and he said he didn't celebrate his goals, like throw a big, you know, didn't celebrate his goals because he wanted to stay quiet on the ice and kind of find those soft areas, which it makes sense when you look back at how he did things. Um, oh, Scott Stevens, that was a good defenseman for the Blues. Obviously, everyone knows who he is. Went on to greater things. Uh, Kevin Stevens, not Scott Stevens. Jimmy Waite, this is a funny story. Um, so Jimmy Waite and Dominic Koshik were both on the blue or on the uh, Blackhawks at the same time. And the Blackhawks, I believe, if my memory serves, made a gamble and let Dominic Koshik go over Jimmy Waite. So, and we all know how that turned out. Another classic, classic blunder by Chicago, which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with. I would not have liked Dominic Hoshik to stay on the Blackhawks. Mets Sundin flying through the air. That's cool. And I'm just trying to get through these packs as quickly as possible so I can get this video wrapped up. Oh, there's... Oh, my goodness. Um, break my fingers trying to get this open. There's the Nick Lindstrom um, Canada Cup. That's cool. So I, I think they do consider this his rookie card. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But 
There he is from Team Sweden. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Dino Cicerelli. Jim Rivnik. He was an old blue. He came after he was on the Capitals. He came here for a while. I remember him. Jimmy Rivnik. Uh, stars checklist. And Paul Cavallini, brother of Gino. The aforementioned Gino Cavallini. Oh, another one of those Gretzky ones. That's cool. I do love I do like the way that they did the uh the hollow foil on those. Upper deck really was the kind of the innovator of a lot of the stuff that we see today. Um as far as you know inserts. I think they're the first ones to do a jersey card, um, which in my opinion killed the industry, but don't quote me on that. Um it's, you know, I think what happened is the, um, oh, sorry, this is Lapsky, and there we go, there's Dominic Hasek on the Blackhawks, I remember, actually, I, I, I don't remember him being on the Blackhawks, actually, he only played five games with them, and then he was in Indianapolis, um, yeah, I, I don't remember exactly the story behind it, but I know that, uh, he parted ways with the Blackhawks, and I'm thankful for that. But anyway, back to what I was saying about the jersey cards. Um, as much as I love the hobby and I love the sport, I think the jersey card and was really the downfall of general collecting. Um, the premium became the the premium product became the base product, if that makes sense. Um, whereas everyone no longer cared about. Mario Lemieux. Everybody cares about Mario Lemieux. That's not what I was saying, but he's got the Stanley Cup with him. Um, nobody really cared about the base card after the jersey card. It all it became about the chase of getting oh, Nelson Olmerson with the Blues. I remember him. Rookie card. That's cool. It, it, it was all about getting the, the jersey card. Um, Eddie Belfour. Hall of Foil. That's cool. Award winner. And you got to remember the... The jersey cards back in the day, they were extremely rare. You know, now you get them yeah, one per pack, and there's just not, you know, it's, you, can, you can find dollar jersey cards because a lot of them it is just manufactured, you know, the photo shoots and the wore it for, a, you know, a shift in an all-star game, and we're supposed to go crazy for those things. And it just, it, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old and grumpy when I say it, but I'm just not a fan. You know, I, I want them to go back to the base and make those things extremely limited. There's another Hockey Heroes. That's cool. New 70 goal score leader. Yep. Best thing we ever did for Brett Hall was get uh, Adam Oates. An amazing passer. And he probably helped... Hall get a ton of those goals. No, in fact, I know he did. So, so I'll get off my soapbox on the the jersey cards and, and stuff like that, and the numbered cards. And there's Yager with the hair way back when everybody had mullets. Um, but yeah, it's it's just been a sticking point for me. It's you know they've exponentially in, increase the cost of what we pay as collectors in order to get um, a subpar product, in my opinion. You know, they'd take, for example, the buyback. The um, the Upper Deck buyback that was just released. It's just a bunch of old cards, old redemptions that they had laying around, and they're like, oh, okay, let's just make a product about it and then sell it, and then everyone's going to get mad when they pull, you know, a $4 autograph so anyway literally and there were so many packs in the box back in the day <laughs> i'm like uh, my fingers getting sore my fingers hurt trying to get through all this stuff here pat lafontaine that's cool claude lapointe jeff hackett jason dawes so congratulations if you stuck with me. We're almost at the 30 minute mark and I don't even know if this video is going to go up or not because I don't want to waste 30 minutes of somebody's day. Just play it on two times, you know, Pat Jablonski, just to get through it. Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, I forgot how many packs were 
stuffed into boxes back in the day. So mass produced. That's why nothing has any value today. I'm really sounding old and cranky right now, but it's true. That's, it really is. So, really, it, the same thing for the baseball card industry in the 80s. You know, it's 80s and 90s, early stuff just has no value. Even if it's a Hall of Fame rookie card, you can pick it up for two bucks or cheaper. So, uh, Jamie Pusher rookie card, I remember him. All right, final three packs, and then you guys can go about your day. Again, I apologize for this being so long. I forgot that there's a gazillion packs in here. Peter Zezel, rest in peace, former blue. Keith Primo, I remember him, pain in the ass. Eddie Olchik, he's the uh, announcer now for NBC Sports. Literally gonna have to go rest my fingers after this. They are that sore. Ray Bork, Ray Ferraro, Chicken Parm. And final pack. Is the Brett Hall autograph in there? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do this together. We'll do it live, but not really live. It's on. It's recorded. Gartner. There's Adam Oates. Rob Langway. Does not look like it. Looks like I got shut out, but I wasn't expecting it. It's stupid rare, so and that's why that's the only card in here worth anything. All right, there you go. There you have it. I will let you get your, get about your day. 91-92 Upper Deck Hockey. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one.